Hello, dear students, and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Sebru, and on today's episode of the Terabyte series, Past Questions and Answers, I will be taking you through the 2015 WASI School Candidates Examination Practicals for Elective ICT. Now, before we delve into the practical question and answers, there is one important thing that you always need to do when you are writing a practical exam. That is to create a folder that contains your name and your index number where you are going to store all your practical solutions. These practical solutions will then be bent onto a compact disk that will be provided by the WIAC for your assessment. Without this folder and saving your solutions in this folder to be bent on the CD, you would be putting all the work you have done into a jeopardized position. So we are going to do that first. We are going to come to desktop under my computer or this computer based on the PC you're using. And I'm going to write my name, Sir Brew, and my index number. And I'm going to hit enter. So my folder is created and inside of this folder, I'm going to be storing every single solution that will be created. So you can pause the video and go ahead and create this folder on your desktop. Now that this folder is created, we are going to delve into the question that we'll be solving for today. Now our question paper for today basically focuses on the areas of HTML, database and Kill basic. So I'm going to read out our first question, which is an HTML question to us. We are going to read the question together. Then we are going to delve into its solution. So it says, answer all questions. Question one, A, with the help of an appropriate text editor, create the HTML code to produce the page below. Now note that the outline of this page that we see represents our web browser. What we have to do is to create the content that is within the web browser, which we'll be doing in a text editor called Notepad. Now, question B says, set the title of the page to your full name and index number. The program codes must be properly indented. So this is a condition that is going to advise how we create our program codes. And lastly, say, save the file as on ordered underscore list dot HTML in the folder created. You remember that folder that we created? Awesome. So we're going to delve into solving this question. Then we'll consider the other questions in database and in QBasic. So to solve this question, HTML question, we're going to activate or bring up our text editor, which we'll be using Notepad. Now for the purpose of this presentation, I'll be splitting my screen into two so that we can have the question on one side, then we can also have our text editor on the other side. So I split my screen into two. On the left-hand side, we have our question. Then on the right-hand side, we have our text editor. So our question says, with the help of an appropriate text editor, create the HTML code to produce the page below. So first of all, we need to create our basic HTML structure. So you're going to have, and then as you know, whenever you open a tag, you need to what? Close that tag. So you're going to close our HTML tag. Awesome. Now within our HTML, there are a number of things that other tags that we'll need. We'll need a header. We will need a body, right? So you're going to create our head tag next. We're going to close it. Then our body is also within the HTML tag. So we're going to create our body. Then we're going to close it. Okay. Now, if you look at the B part of our question, it says that our program codes must be properly indented. Now we are going to take care of that later so that you can see how to do it properly. So now we're just going to focus on solving the first part of our question. Okay, so our question says that we have to create this page, which says these are my to-do list in no particular order, and then the list follows. So our list is going to be created within the body. 
Now we have to introduce our preamble here, which says these are my to-do list in no particular order. To do that, we can use a number of tags to do that, but I'm going to use the paragraph tag. We could have used the heading tag, which was going to bolden our preamble, but we are going to use the paragraph tag, which is P, right? And as you know, you're supposed to close it. So we go ahead and close it, P. Now it says these are my to-do list in no particular order and then colon, right? Now our list is also within our body and our list is going to be an unordered list. The tag for that is UL, and as you know, we are supposed to close it. So we go ahead and close our tag. Now, because we are creating a list, the tag for creating a list is LI, and then we close it LI. Now, how many items do we have in our list? We have one, two, three. That means you're going to create our list three times. So copy, and then we go ahead Go to the next line, paste, next line, paste. What's our first item in our list is do assignment. Next one is wash. And then our last one is watch a movie. Okay. Now that our list is created, we can go ahead and run this piece of code to see if we will get the page that question one is requesting for. So we are going ahead to save it. Our question requires us of the C part, it requires us to save this as what? An unordered list.html. So we have on ordered underscore list dot eighty ml. Then we are going to save this in the folder we created. So click, okay, awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and run our application and see if we'll get the results that we intend. Now, beautiful, we have our intended results. It says these are my to-do list in a particular order, and then we have our list here. Now, if you look at this title bar, what do you see on ordered list of ATML, which is actually the name that we want, we saved our document in. However, going back to our question, the B part says set the title of the page to your full name and index number. So you're supposed to change this title, which says on ordered dot underscore ATML dot ATML to what? our full name and index number. Now, title tag belongs in the head. So we are going to go to the head and we're going to create our title tag. As you know, we're going to close it. And in this title tag, we are supposed to what, produce our name. So Sebru, which is what I'm going to use. And then my index number, Okay, then I'm going to what? Save it. Now the second part of that B question says the program codes must be properly indented. So we are going to go ahead and indent our code in a very proper way. Now to do that, we are going to move every single tag and align them with their closing tags away from the tag in which they belong. So we have ATM and ATML starting. We're going to leave those guys alone. Then we are going to move the head and title is within head. So title must go further to the right. Head must align with head. Then we have body. Body contains a paragraph. It also contains an unordered list, which we are going to order. 
So all the list must be. So our list are in line. Our body is supposed to move forward. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but we just want to. Um, okay, so we have our body in line, our on order list in line, our HTML in line, our head in line, and then our title properly indented. So everything that is nested into another tag is separated from them so that the clear distinction is made. Now, once you're done with it, you go ahead and you save. And once you have saved, you can go ahead and refresh. Oh, sorry, go ahead and refresh. Now what happens? You see here that our title has changed to say brew 10112-1223, and then our list still appears. At this point, you have solved your question. And because you have already saved the question, your solution has unordered underscore list the HTML. You scored the last point too. That is 15 solid marks for you. And then you can go ahead and jump to the next question, which we'll be doing in a few seconds. <laughs>